Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Eli Millard. Starting to see the sun come up on our Junction City cam and a little bit of that sunrise, some cloud cover on the horizon, but for the most part, a clear sky this morning and a cloud or two right now on our Central Topeka cam, but that orange hue now showing up. 66 degrees is your current temperature. Feels like 66. Dew point in the lower 60s. That's starting to come up a little bit. Wind's still calm, but some places seeing a wind of the south 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now our low-lying areas in the upper 50s, but everywhere else sit in the middle to upper 60s. 64 currently at Garnett, 62 at Manhattan, 67 right now at Clay Center, 59 your current temperature at Harrington, and now winds are out of the south, about 5 to 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's continuing that south wind. That's kind of the pattern you'll see during the summer. That south wind will continue to bring in more heat and more humidity. We continue to gradually warm up, and today looks to be hot, and tomorrow looks to be even hotter. So right now we're under a clear sky. There's that cloud cover and a passing cloud or two, especially in our eastern and northeastern uh, counties, but everywhere else pretty much under a clear sky is an area of high pressure is now our dominant pattern and high pressure means much warmer temperatures. It's sinking air and that's what when the air sinks, it warms up and that's what we're looking at towards our south and west. All this heat has been building off towards our south and west and is gradually moving towards the east. So for today, our western counties seeing that heat first and then tomorrow, everybody sees that heat. A little bit of a disturbance as well towards Texas, but off towards the west. See, not even a cloud under this area of high pressure, and that becomes our dominant pattern. So heat index values for today, again, in our eastern counties, a little bit cooler, upper 80s, lower 90s for feels like temperatures. Still not super humid, but in our western counties, still getting hotter. Feels like temperatures in the middle 90s. And then Thursday, the kind of the big day, that's the hottest day on the seven day. So air temperature wise will be in the middle to upper 90s. But with the increasing humidity, feels like temperatures could be as high as around 105 degrees. So certainly tomorrow's the day. You probably just want to stay inside as it's our first really hot day of the year. And then Friday, after a cool front moves through, we cool down just a little bit on Friday. Those feels like temperatures will be in the upper 80s and lower 90s. After that, though, things start to heat up again. But that cool front does spark a chance for storms tomorrow, and some of those could be strong to severe. So throughout today, a passing cloud, but generally lots of sunshine throughout today. And then a few uh, passing clouds as well early on Thursday morning, clearing out before a cool front arrives. Along that cool front, you can see it starting to set up on Thursday afternoon. Along that frontal boundary, at any point, you can see an isolated, strong to severe thunderstorm that develops from Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Anywhere along that frontal boundary, you could see those strong to severe thunderstorms develop and then move out later on Thursday night. So a slight risk for severe weather for pretty much all of Northeast Kansas. The only folks missing out on this slight risk is I-35 and South, but something to watch out for. Again, not everybody's going to see a storm tomorrow, but folks that do could see some heavy rain, some large hail and some damaging winds. So today a high of 93 degrees, getting hot tomorrow, 99 degrees, almost to 100, but not quite there. It will feel like triple digits though for Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, a chance for storms later in the day, PM storms and a slim chance for rain on late on Friday, a slim chance for rain late on Saturday. So we have a couple rain chances on the seven day, nothing over the top. The big story right now, and it's not really the rain, it's the isolated rain chances and then all the heat that is building in. 99 degrees, I, well, that's about 14 degrees above our average. Now I know wow. we're getting ready to get to, you know, the longest day of the year, that's right. nine days away, first day of summer, but still, this is incredibly early for yeah. this. We just hit our first 90 degree day exactly. in, uh, in Topeka last week. And so now we're starting to get to maybe near triple digits.